Now, some parents across Tampa Bay are being asked to sign COVID-19 waivers before their kids head back to school. 10 Tampa Bay reporter Liz Crawford did some research for us, and it turns out a parent who's also an attorney says these waivers might not hold up in court. We don't know in those documents what the risk is defined as. Charles Gallagher says he received this waiver from his daughter's school, essentially saying he won't sue the Catholic Diocese of St. Petersburg if his child gets sick from COVID-19 or dies. As an attorney, his legal instinct kicked in. Is there any ability to negotiate those terms? Are we able to go ahead and say, well, I don't like exactly what that language is. Can we go ahead and modify that? You see, Gallagher isn't sure the COVID-19 waiver would hold up in court. He says that's because the assumption of risk, as explained right here on the waiver, is too vague. There's no way for a parent to truly have an appreciation of the risk. And under Florida law, you have to have an idea what that understanding is for that to be a, you know, a valid assumption of risk uh, under that document. In other words, parents can't be forced to accept the risk because they don't know what the risk is. The coronavirus is just too new to understand the full scope of danger. You understand that you might break an arm or break a leg playing football. That risk is understood. This is a different concept. This is a whole different beast. None of the Tampa Bay public school districts are requiring COVID-19 waivers to attend school. However, Pinellas, Pasco, and Sarasota counties are requiring COVID-19 waivers to participate in sports. And we reached out to the Catholic Diocese of St. Petersburg for comment. They tell us each school has an alternative plan for families who do not want to return to in-person learning and sign the document. We have their full statement on 10tampabay.com.